like tragedy Liars always mad at me, it's thundering Real to build a sucker, the master key Not a speck, no malady, innocence Counterspin, slip away from Mallory, yeah I slide inside the stall Spirit power, vessel, team clean, cooling off from the light, cause I lose it all Making life too beautiful, the afterlife unsuitable Most high in the new Jerusalem Loco, for the Lord like a loco Kingdom eyes of Israelite, therein lives the tree of life But can I fathom my inheritance? Reckon a rick will be lit up like the wick of a menorah stick uh. What's cracking for the king of the Jews To those in Yahshua <clears throat> I just have a random question here If the Talmud says Jesus is in hell boiling in semen isn't that absolutely revealing exposing how threatened the rabbinical community has been of this one person who else why does it have to be Jesus that is so all his uh, historical references were trying to be destroyed and wiped out isn't it kind of dramatic that and then why is he still here making box office hits and whole nations claiming him and and why is he such a such a such this one particular Jew Jesus Christ Yahshua Hamashiach is such an issue that he has to be boiling in semen in your holy books in your oral law that, doesn't that seem like you're so threatened by him? Why would you be so threatened by him? If he's just a false prophet, just categorize him where he belongs, stone him and be done with him. It's a big deal. Why are you so threatened by him? That's that, <laughs> I think that uh, is worthy to be examined as to why he was such a false prophet. He's like the worst false prophet ever or something. Anyways, this is my question now. Which is greater? Actually, I'm not even going to ask you the question because it'd be totally rhetorical. This is greater. A disciple of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a true disciple, follower of Jesus, is the greatest success achieving level of a man on planet Earth. That's what I'm saying. So you have true Nazarene disciple Derek of Jesus Christ. Then you have the Christian church, which a lot of Christians are just going through the motions. So I would say they believe in the Son of God. They receive him. They've been born again. But they don't really seek him, draw nigh to his way through doing what Jesus says. So the love level is demoted quite a bit so you have true messianic disciples of jesus that want to understand jesus is the pesach he is the living torah he is the way and we're ready to be martyred we have hearts of martyrs for him ready to die ready to be persecuted for him that is a true lover of jesus he said those uh who are mine uh do what i say basically do the commandments <coughs> So that would be the number one man in the world. Somebody that fears the Lord and knows that Jesus is the Son of God, has the Son, has the Father, therefore favor, true disciple of the Mashiach, right? There's those. Then there's a Christian community who been born again in Jesus' name, believe that Jesus died and rose again for their sins. That's the second category of people. Then you have the... <laughs> That wasn't on purpose. The mace, uh, the the the, not the Freemasons, the rabbinical community who seek Hashem, seek I am. They, the only thing that's keeping them from being actual lovers of God, is they claim the Father but reject the Son. Man, you don't want to reject God's plan for mankind. That is not loving Hashem. That's not fearing Hashem. That's total arrogance against Hashem in his way. So, you have true Messianic Christian believers, including Messianic Jews. You have 
Christian church. It's all kind of denominations. It's all screwed up. I totally agree with that. And people barely love Jesus. They're just going through motions. Sunday worshipers, that type. C and E Christians even. Then you have the rabbinical community who thinks super highly of themselves. They'll take the best seat and they reject Jesus Christ. And if you notice... I haven't even put Catholics on the list because I don't consider Catholicism true Christianity. Although there may be eyes that need to be open, and I know there is, amongst billions of followers. Um, the wheat and the tares, man. The wheat and the tares. And that's totally up to God. Separate the wheat and the tares. They grow up together till the time of harvest. Then you have this whole sector of people coming to knowledge of Torah and want to be Torah observant. They may even start as Christians and then they start thinking that they're getting deep. Then they start even looking to men and then they get to the point they start denouncing Yahshua. They're going backwards. So now they're high minded and they start converting to Judaism. It's totally going backwards. So then they meet someone of me light on my feet representing love from Mashiach. It's spiritual versus high-minded knowledge that puffs up and has this religiosity in this form. I'm about the relationship, the true religion, the relationship with Jesus Christ. They are trying to find themselves in man's tradition and it pumping themselves up and they care about the outer more than the inner the spiritual connection with jesus christ yahshua the moshiach the king of israel the king of all kings the king of the jews hallelujah he can't ever lose the ruach hakodesh bless you and the rest with this message amen amen shalom new jerusalem